There are three main ways to scatter objects in Blender. By hand, which is the slowest, but with the most control. Then we can use particle systems, but their Blender implementation is slowly getting outdated and replaced by the last method, using geometry nodes. And this is what we're using. Just select the cream, add a Geo Nodes modifier, then click New to create a Geo Nodes tree. Drag open a new viewport and switch it to Geometry Nodes. For anyone new, here we build logic trees by connecting different operations. If they make sense when executed, we can get pretty cool results. Let's start by creating the Sprinkles geometry. Just like with the 3D viewport, if we hit Shift plus A, we get the Add menu and from the mesh, then primitives, we can add an icosphere. Also, from its settings, add a few subdivisions to make it smoother. To preview it, just connect that node to the output. And don't worry, the whipped cream is not lost, even though we can't see it. It will always be in the input geometry node. Instead of using scale and move, like in the viewport, we need to use a transform node to scale the sprinkles into something more appropriate. To smooth it out, there is a subdivision surface node or we can use the set shade smooth node. This will edit only the normals of the object to make it appear smoother without creating additional geometry. Now that the basic sprinkle is ready, we need to scatter it on the cream. To do that, we need to create points that would give the position of the sprinkles. Let's search for points and the distribute points on surface node should work. Just plug in the input geometry and dial in the density. And if you don't want the points to be too close to one another, we can switch the distribution method to Poseon disk, which will make sure there's a minimum space between every two points. Last, let's add an instance on points node and plug in the points we created as well as the sprinkle geometry in the instance slot. If you're not seeing the result, make sure you have the last node we added plugged in the output. That way we can see the sprinkles. To see both the sprinkles and the cream, add a join geometry node before the output and plug both into it. To recap this part, we learned how to set up a basic scattering system with geometry nodes as well as creating and adjusting objects inside the node tree. In the next episode, we will see how we can add further control over the scattering. Also, if you have skipped some of the previous steps but wish to follow along from here, you can get all the project files for this tutorial series from the link in the description below. I'll also be adding some bonus videos in there if anyone wants to speed up their learning process. Subscribe for more tutorials and see you in the next episode.